I'm Lynn Comdishan. Here's news around East Africa. We'll start off with Rwanda. Rwandan President Paul Kagame has pardoned 367 convicts of abortion, complicity in abortion and infanticide offenses. The move is part of the resolutions made during an extraordinary cabinet meeting that was chaired by Kagame on Wednesday. News coming in from Kenya. The High Court in Kenya has halted the implementation of a ban on non-woven bags. The High Court's decision follows a petition filed by importers and small traders association challenging the ban announced and pending implementation by Kenya's National Environment Management Authority. In Tanzania, the Tanzanian parliament has suspended Arusha Member of Parliament Godless Lemma of a weak parliament remarks. Lemma has been excused from three consecutive meetings following a resolution tabled by the Ethics Committee which demanded that the suspension starts immediately. In Uganda, the Democratic Party blocks the DP, the SDP and Truth Justice Forum have signed a pact ahead of the 2021 general elections. The pact is crafted under the concept of unity, is the only option and is aimed at fronting a joint candidate for the general elections. In South Sudan, the Sudan People's Liberation Movement in opposition has launched a campaign calling on Igad to end the confinement of Rake Masha, who is currently residing in Sudan. Masha, who left for Sudan after signing the South Sudan Peace Agreement, was confined by Igad to prevent further escalation. <music> Moving away from East Africa, here's what's making headlines around the world. Around 10.7 million people are currently food insecure across Somalia, Kenya, Ethiopian Karamoja region in Uganda. The Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD, said in a Tuesday press release that although the food insecure population is lower than numbers observed during the drought of 2017, which was 15.3 million people, there's a high risk of a worsening situation due to forecasted rainfall deficits. The delay in the start of the March to June long rains coupled with forecasted rainfall deficits in April are building on already dry conditions due to poor October and December rains over some parts of the greater Horn of Africa. News from Ethiopia. Ethiopian Airlines pilots followed proper procedures when their Boeing MAX 8 airplane repeatedly nosedived before a March 10th crash that killed 157 people, according to Ethiopia's Minister of Transport, while delivering the first official report on the incident. News coming in from New Zealand, Brenton Tarrant, the self-confessed white supremacist accused of killing 50 people at two Christchurch mosques last month, has been charged with 50 counts of murder and 39 counts of attempted murder before a court appearance on Friday. News coming in from Washington, D.C. White House advisor Ivanka Trump is planning a trip to Africa to promote a global women's initiative she is leading. President Donald Trump's daughter will visit Ethiopia and Ivory Coast over four days this month. The White House said Wednesday that her schedule includes a Women's Economic Empowerment Summit in Ivory Coast, as well as site visits and meetings with political leaders, executives and female entrepreneurs in both countries. And that was news around East Africa, as well as news making headlines around the world. I'm Lynn Komjisha, back to Ruth Nasajan.